Okay, this is gonna be a user guide for heat miser thermostats. This will be the V1, V2, V3. This covers the wired and the wireless. As we can see, this one is a wireless one because, well, it has no wires attached to it and it takes batteries. So when we fire our thermostat up, this is how the default screen will look. So what we have in the middle here, this is our room temperature, day of the week, time of the day. And on the bottom, we have a couple of different options. We can scroll through these options by pushing the left or the right arrow key. So we'll start here on the little power icon. If we just press this once, this will put the unit into frost protection mode. Here, then, we can set a frost protection temperature. Standard is 12. This should go all the way up to 17 and then down to 5. And this is your frost protection mode. Once you're happy with the set temperature, just press the tick. To disable the frost protection mode, we simply just press tick again. So when we're highlighted on the little power icon, press the tick, frost protection, press the tick, disable frost protection. So we can see the room temperature is currently 23.8 degrees C, mainly because it's being held in my hand at the moment. But we can adjust the room temperature by pressing either the up or the down key. So let's get the, get a nice warm room temperature. Let's turn it up. Say we're going to go for a 27 degree C room temperature. Press tick to set. And here we can see now the little flame icon has appeared. This is now showing us that there is a current heating demand on the system. So now to go through all the options that are here, we have hold, press tick. You can now hold a temperature for a set amount of time. So say we're going to have hold it for two hours and 30 minutes. And we're going to hold the temperature in the room either nice and cool. So it'll pause the heating for it or nice and warm to increase the heating for a set amount of time. Press tick to confirm. And here we can see in the top right hand corner, we have two hours and 30 minutes left at this hold time. We can go over. So we have the holiday mode function. So we can press tick. So we want to say the year we're going away. So this is currently not set up with time and date, so we're stuck in 2023 at the moment. So it thinks it's this year. So press the tick to confirm. We can choose a month. So we're going to be back on the fourth month. The day we're back. So we're going to be back on the 12th. And we're going to be home at half past nine in the morning. So what this will do is put the room thermostat into holiday mode until half past nine in the morning on the day of our return. Press the tick and here we can see the plain symbols there. So we're in holiday mode and this is how much time we've got left until we're home. If you would like to cancel this, you just press the tick button. Cancel comes up there, press the tick and it's now cancelled. You can go across to edit. In here now, you can edit the time programs that are currently set. So here we're set up currently Monday to Friday. Press tick to enter. And here we can see the wake time. So if we want to edit the wake time, we press the tick button. And we can see the seven is flashed in the top right hand corner. So this is time you're waking up and you would like the heating to come back on. So we're six in the morning. So let's go for 6.30. It's gonna come on and we're gonna heat to 22 degrees C. Then we use the little cross right arrow to leave. So this would then be the time we're going to work. So say we're leaving to work nice and early, seven o'clock. And whilst we're away, not in the house, we want to run the house at a reduced temperature. Press tick. And then the return indicates the time we are home from work. So press tick. So we've done a long day. We're getting home at nine o'clock at night and we want the house to be 22 degrees C. Sleep. So this is the time then we're going to switch it off throughout the night. So here we adjust that. We're going to say five past 11 or quarter past 11 even. And we're going to turn it nice and down low overnight so we're not too hot sleeping. And you can go back using the left or right ones to change any of these. And once we're happy with it, we select done. Now that we've gone through hold, holiday and edit, let's go through back to the power icon, press and hold it down. So this will come up with new options now. Let's press the across arrow to get to clock to start with. Here we can set the time and date. So this year is actually 2025. It is the third month. And we are gonna go for today, which is Friday the 14th. And the time currently is 4.19.
And that now is our clock time and date set. So here we now, we can see it's Friday and it's 20 past four. So we've just done our time and date. Let's press and hold the tick button to get back into the menus. Press the tick again. Zero one is to pair to the hub. So to pair to the hub, press the tick and the little symbol comes up and you follow the instructions on your phone to connect it up. Press tick again, we exit back out of this and we have to start again to get into these menus. Press and hold, press. So we've done zero one. Zero two is the switching differential. So if you have your room set to 20 degrees C, with this as zero one as a factory default, it looks to heat the room back up when you drop below 19 degrees C. 0 0.5, it'll drop 19.5, then heat the room back up. And you can go all the way up to a three degrees C switching differential, meaning if you have your room set to 20 degrees C, it has to drop below 17 degrees C before the heating will come back on again. Once we're happy with this, we can press the tick and it exits back out. Press and hold again. Press to enter. We've done one, we've done two. So number three is frost protection. So this is the default value for frost protection. We can adjust this by pressing the left and right to what we need. Once you're happy, press tick, it'll exit back out, or press the up arrow, and we can continue scrolling through. So zero 04 is the output delay. Currently at zero 00, it means that as soon as this is, has a demand for heat on it, it will then send its signal straight to the receiver. You can change this by the minutes, all the way up to 15 minutes, to give a 15 minute delay before the heating comes on. Once we're finished here, let's scroll up. Now that we're in 05, we can see this is the temperature limit. So you can limit the amount of change you can have between the temperature on this. Let's go up again. We've got 06. So 06 is a sensor selection. So you've got 00, which uses the inbuilt sensor on this unit. 01 uses a remote air sensor. 02 uses a remote floor sensor. And 03 uses the built-in sensor and the remote floor sensor. That is the standard on 00. zero. zero 07 is a floor temperature limit. So if you need to protect your floor against different temperatures, you can set the limit by here on what you would like the floor temperature to heat to. Then we have 08, which is the optimum start delay. We then go up to 09. This is our rate of change. 10, which isn't featured on this one. 11, the same. 12, we're in program mode. So, zero, zero is no programs. You're just a constant time and temperature throughout the day. Zero, one is Monday to Friday program and Saturday, Sunday separate program. Zero, two is a seven day program. So all days of the week, exactly the same. And zero, three is a 24 hour program. Once you're happy with these selections, choose what you'd like to do and you can set it up. By setting zero, zero, it then gets rid of the time and day off the screen. And that is your basic guide on how to use the heat miser thermostat.